Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can combine smart accessories with the CrowdGen system in iClone to quickly deploy crowds of people equipped with various accessories so you don't need to do it manually. Let's start off with the basic crowd generation first. Under the Create menu, you'll find the Generate Crowd option. There are various settings here such as Generation Type and Spawn Region which we cover more in the basic CrowdGen tutorials. In this case, I'm just going to create a volume dummy and scale it so that it covers these bleachers. Notice that the placement points snap to the various elevations automatically. We can then populate our actor pool with actors from the content manager. I can then find some head-based accessories in the content manager and do the same thing by adding them to the accessory pool. I'll bring in some motions to the motion IMD pool as well, and you'll notice that the motion accessory pool is currently empty as none of these motions I added have linked accessories. After I deploy the actors, you'll notice a random assortment of them have either one or both of the accessories I added. I'll create separate groups for male and female here, being sure to only have the relevant actors from the actor pool selected for their respective gender groups. We'll assign them different colored accessories momentarily according to the group name. I'll add in a couple more accessories, and if we use the right click menu to look at the content information, we can see that these accessories have different material options embedded which we can assign to one or both of our two groups. I'll first make sure that the female underscore red group is selected, and then in the material settings, deselect all of the color options for those accessories except for red. Then the same for the male group, making sure those selected accessories only have the blue material option enabled. When we deploy actors with these options, we'll have blue hats on random male actors and various red accessories on random female actors. However, you'll notice that since we have two head-based accessories for the female group, some of them will have overlap. In a situation like this, I'll simply duplicate the original female group a couple of times and assign only a single head accessory to each group. After we do this and redeploy the actors, you'll see that we no longer have any accessory overlap for the head. With the new smart accessories, we can actually embed them into motions so that they don't need to be applied separately, which is a super useful feature particularly for crowd generation scenarios. Let's look at how we can integrate this into our crowd generation for quick application. If you don't know how to create motions with embedded accessories, please check out the dedicated iClone 8.5 tutorial. I'll start off by dragging in some of the accessory linked motions that we created in that tutorial into the motion pool, and you'll now see the motion accessory pool populate with the embedded accessories. In this next actor deployment, I'll put a ratio of 2 to 1 in favor of the male group, and this time around only enable the accessory linked motions for the male group as well. You'll see that both male and female groups have accessories, only the male accessories are added via the accessory linked motion we added while the female accessories were all added via the CrowdGen tool. We can also filter the accessory materials from the motion accessory pool as well. Here I'll assign only blue for the male group and red for the female group. For this deployment I'm only going to use accessory linked motions for both male and female actor groups. For each motion, you can go in and set tags for which accessory will be assigned to which type of actor. As discussed in the tutorial on creating accessory linked motions, the grouping column is used to connect accessories assigned to either the right or left hand. We can set these randomly here as we're not going for any particular pattern. Now you can see we have a crowd with blue accessories only assigned to male actors and red to female, in a seemingly random distribution, however the motions may appear too highly synchronized. To offset this you can use the random start frame option for each group and also enter in a higher value in the repeat column of the motion pool. If you want to save all of the settings you've worked on so far, 
you can do so at the top of the CrowdGen window. If you only want to deploy one of the groups you've created, it's as simple as deselecting any of the others from the group list. That way, we can deploy an all-female crowd first, and then go up to create another crowd from the Create menu, and this time only utilize the male group. If you've closed down the CrowdGen window, you can simply reload the JSON file we just saved. That's it for this tutorial, guys. As you can see, smart accessories are an invaluable feature for adding more variety to your crowds and also deploying them much quicker with preset accessories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.